The good news is, Mr. President, is the people in Florida who are working in city government, local government, and state government are doing an excellent job to be prepared for this. I had the opportunity to meet with Mayor Mike Wiggins of Pensacola, with Chairman Grover Robinson of the Escambia uh, County Commission, as well as Larry Newsom, who's their county administrator, who are doing a great job of preparing Florida. There are teams of people who are out on the beaches picking up this oil and debris where needed, and they have folks out uh, all, all on standby, ready to go to work if needed in western Florida. But Mr. President, we need to do more. There needs to be a coherent plan about how we are going to prevent the oil from coming ashore and to mitigate its impact if and when it does. Tourism is tremendously important to Florida. And in Florida, our environment and our economy are inextricably linked. We cannot have any more damage than the state can sustain in our marsh areas or our beach areas. We do not want oil washing up on the shore all along the coast of Florida. So I have called upon this administration to be more aggressive. I want to see the President of the United States in Florida. And I want to see him more than just a couple hours there. I want to see him working through the solutions, like Governor Jindal is doing in Louisiana right now, like Governor Christ is doing in Florida, like our former Governor Jeb Bush did when we had nine or 10 hurricanes a couple years ago in 2004 and 2005. On the ground, managing through the crisis, pushing people for solutions. It is not enough to have the good work of the Coast Guard, and they are doing good work. It is not enough to call on the Department of Interior or the Department of Homeland Security. We need the president on the ground pushing for those solutions.